what sort of side hustles work in 2020. There are a ton of apps out there that you can sign up and the complete service and get paid for it. I know you know what I'm talking about. We're talking about Grubhub, Uber, DoorDash, Brutes, all of that, and Instacart. That's also one that has come up recently. They're all services that you can either use or sign up for to be a delivery person or driver, depending on which one it is. So how much does DoorDash actually pay you? What's up, you guys? I'm Jacob Fisher, and today it's Minute Monday, but we're going to be taking a little bit of a departure from that. I've been delivering DoorDash for the past few weeks just to see how much you actually make from it. I know they have a lot of claims online, and I just kind of wanted to see how much you could make for it. This might help you determine if you actually want to sign up for the service and start trying to deliver the food that they have. So smash that like button, and let's get to it. DoorDash and other food service companies have been rising in popularity since quarantine happened. I mean, the only way you can get food is to order it or pick it up yourself. Someone needs to be on the other end to deliver your actual food though, and that's what I did. My goal was not to replace my job's income, but rather to supplement it, as a lot of these things should be used for. There are a few caveats before I dive super deep into this. I live in downtown Denver, so that provides me an incredible advantage of just being able to always get orders consistently and having them not too far away. It makes the amount of orders I can complete in one hour just so much more. I can complete almost three, wow. I can complete almost three orders in a single hour. Sometimes I can actually complete three orders in like half an hour, it just depends. My goal is to make about $25 a day and I can do this in under an hour and a half. I wanted to explore lunch and dinner, I wanted to explore peak versus non-peak pay, which I'll get into just a little bit later on. As of right now, I've only delivered 20 orders, which does not seem like a lot because it's really not that much. But that's because I don't work on the weekends, and some days I just haven't been here to do this. I've driven a total of 87 miles, and my total pay so far is $175.83, and I've worked for 8 hours and 46 minutes total. If you include my gas expense, which I get into later, then my net profit is $166.04. Currently, DoorDash paid me $66.75, $26 in peak pay, which is DoorDash offering me $1 or $4 extra per delivery because they need more drivers out there, and $83.08 in tips. Honestly, if a tip is not in the order, then I'm just not going to take it. It's not worth my time to be paid $3 to drive 5 plus miles and do that. It's just, it doesn't make sense economically at all. That puts my total hourly rate at right around $20 per hour. But if you don't include the time for me finishing my last delivery and maybe a couple minutes between each time I get an order, then my hourly rate is $28 per hour. But of course you should include the total time. That's just, you know, another example of how you can look at this. If I accept an order on my phone, on average, the order value is $10.34, meaning I only need to make about three deliveries before reaching that $25 threshold that I mentioned earlier. My average lunch order is $9.25, while dinner is $11.90, so I think it's pretty safe to say that you can make more doing dinner than just doing lunch. I qualify lunch around 12 to 3 p.m., while dinner I've worked 5.30 to 6.45 p.m. I can generally finish about 2.28 orders in an hour, so again, just need to work a little bit above that hour to make that $25 in a day. Working during the peak times will hopefully provide you with more orders and hopefully ones that pay just a little bit more. Another thing I should mention is that my car does not get good miles per gallon. It's a Jeep Cherokee, so I get about 16 mpg in the city, leaving my total cost of gas right around $10. It also helps that gas is so cheap right now. If you have a more fuel efficient car, then obviously the cost of gas will go down. But just keep in mind that as you deliver, you can claim those miles for a tax break when you do your taxes later in the year or for next year. And I do get 3% back on gas purchases. If you want to know, then click the video up there, which will provide you with information on how I do that. It is a bit annoying to have terrible gas mileage, but I do live in Colorado and I do have a Jeep, so it lets me actually use the full capabilities of my Jeep. That's another story though. Back to DoorDash and whether or not you should sign up to be a dasher is what they call it. I figured I could sign up for this service and toss all the money I make into investments for the future. 
If I were out there every weekday getting $25, then I would be able to toss $500 into an investment account, which is, which is pretty good. For an hour and a half of work during it only weekdays, that's pretty ideal just to, you know, boost your income that much. At some point, my dividends should provide me that $500 a month from DoorDash, except I just need my account value to be higher. If you're looking to make a little bit more money, then I don't see why DoorDash shouldn't be in your mind or one of the other services. Unless you live in a very not populated area, because that'll make getting orders just more difficult. Again, I am super lucky for my location because I can get so many orders in a short period of time. The actual process of signing up and doing everything is very simple, very easy. After you sign up and get cleared and you know whatever they do, you can just open the app, hit start dashing, and then accept an order as it comes in. Normally it takes about a minute for the first order to roll in, but I just sit inside until it happens and I'll walk up to my car and go, or I'll just sit in my car and wait a minute. I'll drive to the restaurant, pick up the food, and then I go to the customer's house. Most people do not contact delivery right now, so you just place the order at the door and then let them know it's there and then walk away and go to the next one. It's so easy. Which orders do I accept though? I have a base cutoff of about $7 per order. Now that will change if the delivery address and the home address is like half a mile away and it's four, because that's just easy, go there, deliver it, done. But I try to strive for at least $1 per mile that I'm going to be driving. That's pretty easy to accomplish and most of the orders do come in like that. Now I will say if I don't see one that comes up, I can just hit no and I don't need to do that order. In fact most people should hit no if they only get like three dollars for the order if you're dashing during a peak pay then you need to accept about 70 percent of the orders that come in for you to actually receive that pay if you do 10 orders during peak pay and then deny another 10 you've only done 50 percent or accepted 50 percent of the orders that come in and doordash has a limit on the amount so you need to accept again that 70 percent number to actually receive peak pay your acceptance rate just needs to be higher for you to get all the things that come in. It's a little sketchy on their end, but it is something to keep in mind if you decide, oh, I'm gonna go during this peak pay period, should you sign up for DoorDash to be a dasher. I think if you live in a metropolitan area and are looking to make that extra $400 to $500 a month just by working extra on the weekdays, then I say go for it. There's nothing bad about doing that. Plus, you can start dashing, then you can subscribe to this channel and figure out other ways you can make passive income through the income you've earned through this active income, all passive income, or making that 3% cash back with gas purchases, that's just something you should look at by subscribing. It's down there, I got a ton of videos on that already. Let me know your thoughts about this and whether or not you may or may not sign up for this service down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.